we have a product card component. Yeah, it's related to products. So it will be placed in the... All right, welcome back everyone. So today we'll be doing something different because I have not seen many people talk about this and that is how to structure your project, especially with Next.js 13. Yeah, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. So over here we have our starting default page.tsx in the app folder. Yeah, so if we go to Chrome, right, that is the default root page that you get. Yeah, when you just do a slash. Yeah, so this is the default starting next dress starting page. Okay, I've not changed anything as you can see. Right, so if you go back to Helix over here, let's take a look at the project structure, all right, that I usually use for especially Next.js 13. Right, so if we open up the file finder and let's do slash app, so you can see for starters, all right, we have okay, the default starting page.tsx, all right, okay, we also have the layout.tsx, okay, but you notice that. Uh, the names right the, of the folders that I've created. For example, slash home, right? Slash home and slash products, right? So these are under the slash app folder or directory. So they will be created as routes as well. So for example, if we go to slash home, you can see that we have a page.tsx there. Yeah, and if we go to that same route in Chrome. Yeah. So slash home. And we'll see we have the page rendered here. Right. So right now it doesn't do anything. It just renders the word home page. Alright. Yeah. So let's go back to Helix. Okay. So you can see how I name my folders or subfolders under the app folder. Okay. So home and products for example yeah so usually this is what i do okay i name them according to their nature okay or what they are related to right especially for the pages yeah so you can see slash home and slash products both are essentially pages yeah for our project yeah so okay same thing here if we go to the slash products route yeah you see we get our product page uh, which doesn't do anything right now it just renders the text product main page yeah so if we take a look at that so yeah okay this is all it does right now yeah all right so let's go back to our main page.tsx right so let's open up the file finder again so i can show you what usually or how I usually structure my projects yeah okay so that is for pages yeah so home once again for example and products yeah so for example if you want to have just say for example you are creating an e-commerce e-commerce app or project right instead of products you might want mail products right we could do products mail right and you can do a page.tsx here as well for just mail products yeah so you can see where we are going with this yeah so for pages this is what i usually do yeah we name them by their nature yeah okay so let's move on to components right so you might notice okay we have the components folder okay in a bracket so what I meant by that is the name of the subfolder for components, right? It is wrapped around in brackets, right? So if you do this, yeah, next JS 13 will know that, hey, this is not a route and it will not automatically create a route for this. Yeah, so this is just a very handy way to group your files uh, depending on how you want to group them. Yeah, so for example, if we go to Chrome right now, yeah and if you if we try to type in components yeah even though this is in the app folder okay we'll get a 404 error 
Yeah, and the reason for that once again is because okay, we have the components subfolder wrapped around in brackets. Yeah, so this is a good way to group together whatever you want to group. Yeah. So for me, okay, what I usually do is okay, I will group my components, yeah, in the app subfolder. Right, or rather under the app folder because by default anything in the app directory or folder right is a server component. Yeah, so over here we have a header component under the home folder and a product cart right under the products folder. So both of them by default are server components. Right, with the exception of this header component here because we use we are using the use client directive yeah this is just to show as an example all right so if we go back to slash app slash components again so once again you might notice that okay under the app directory and under the components in the bracket directory okay you notice that the name of that subfolder under components right, is home and products. Yeah, so once again, right, this is by their nature. Okay, usually I do this. Okay, but another method that I am quite fond of is for components to be placed at their nature, right? Or what type of component they are. So for example, say we want to create a search, right, a search bar. So that is a type of input, yeah. So we are going to create a new component of obviously inside the components folder. Okay, but we're going to create a new folder and this time we're calling it input, all right? And of course, the name of the component is search input, all right? You take a look at the top left corner, yeah. Hopefully you can see the font and we'll do a very generic signature here for the component right so for now we'll just return an empty header for now for now all right let's save that and let's take a look at our directory again all right slash app slash components yeah so once again notice that now we have a new subfolder under the components folder all right yeah so this is another way to group or place your components by their type yeah instead of what they are related to right so for me this is the two ways i use to group my components right so one is by their nature or what they are related to for example if we have a product cut component yeah it's related to products so it will be placed in the products folder or if we have a search text field right that we want to reuse for say male and female products for say in the home page as well okay we do not want to constrain that to just products yeah so for those scenarios it might be better to place it or group it under a folder such as input yeah all right so hopefully this short guide on how to structure your next js 13 video has been helpful okay and as always stay awesome everyone and stay safe and look forward to our next videos cheers man